Someone asked us to launch a brand for them. So here's some of the steps that we took. Very, very beginning of the process. This is the ideation phase. They're coming up with the idea. They have the concept for their company and they're starting to build the merchandising process on the back end. So I said, hey, Cyclone, how do we build a good marketing campaign so that we can start this off and launch this brand successfully? So from the very beginning, we have to look at brand identity. Obviously, we need to, we need to come up with names and logos and uh, identity pieces. But along with that, we need to develop a good, robust website but we know that's going to take time. So one of the things that we focused on is while we were building out the, and this would have been a Shopify website, as we're building out that website and as we're building out some of those conversion points, we also wanted to build the brand with some hype and excitement on the back end. So we basically backed up three months and said, if we're gonna launch in three months from now, let's start to engage with individuals. Let's start to build a collection of influencers and micro influencers and potential affiliates that we can work with. And let's use this three months to our advantage so when we do launch, we can launch aggressively. So taking that approach, we reach out to those groups we then start to promo the brand slowly to them, uh, introducing products, introducing the vision, and letting them feel like they're part of the ground floor. Someone who feels like they're part of the ground floor is a lot more invested, and quite frankly, as a brand, you don't have to pay quite as much to that individual. Get them excited, get them invested. Then we took that, we put together a campaign where we did some sort of incentive giveaway um, and promo to help launch. And ideally when you're doing this, you're building a good following so that at launch, you can, you can really reach them. When we do this, we're always, our goal is usually 10,000, right? We want 10,000 followers, 10,000 users ready to go, 10,000 email addresses. If we can get to that benchmark, that helps us launch really effectively. So in this specific situation, we, built that out and then at launch we had a pretty robust campaign that said here's the day that we launch here's the soft launch let's make sure that we have x number of influencers x number of affiliates with their content already built we had three months to send them stuff we had three months to get them product we had three months to capture uh, photos and videos and build a rollout plan and when we rolled out the idea was to punch everyone in the face right the idea was to say no matter what, if you're on social and you follow this group, you're in this group, you're in this audience, you're gonna see us and you're gonna see that we exist. So when that launched, um, and when we've done this a few times, when those launch, you see a really aggressive first uh, sales day. A lot of sales, a lot of traffic. The, the idea of that day is not necessarily to be super profitable. The idea of that day is to learn a lot. Hotjar on the website, it's a, it's a tool we can use to start to see where people are going on the website, looking at analytics and understanding how people are, are looking at the website, how they're maneuvering through the website, why they're converting, why they're not converting. And then quickly over the next few weeks, we can fix that, adjust that, adapt to that, so we can just keep moving effectively forward. Once we move effectively forward, then especially launching a new brand, there's so much social proof that goes into that. I have no background as a new brand to be able to tell my credibility, so I need other people to do it for me. So building that army of influencers, micro influencers, and affiliates is huge. You don't need macro influencers for it. You don't need Kim Kardashian telling everybody about your brand. Anyone will, do, anyone will do well for that as long as they look like they fit your target demo. As long as they feel like the person who's making the purchase, that person can relate to it. Oh yeah, there's six other people who look like me, who act like me, who talk like me, who are promoting this brand and saying they love this brand. Maybe I would like it too. So the idea would be make sure you're driving that social proof and then have a good, strong, robust ads campaign to follow through. Organic social will, will fill in the gaps, but mostly it's that, that influencer, micro-influencer, affiliate, plus paid, paid uh, digital to push and grow that brand. Over that next few months, the idea is to use all of that to watch your search volume increase. Once your search volume increases, you know you've started to build a brand name and people are looking for you because you're building some credibility and you can roll back into more of a traditional marketing strategy at that point. I know it's a little bit long-winded here, but that's a good, um, basic strategy for launching a product, launching a brand into the market that has never been heard of before the very beginning. So hopefully you get something out of that.